This is probably the view that Don Faulkner had when he became inspired with the wintergreen vision. Somewhere in the early 70s, I met Don Faulkner and being a native of uh, both Nelson and Elwell County and having an interest in preservation and, and botany and ecosystems, I bought into Don's vision. And I bought into that vision because there was a promise to protect all of this. That's what drew me in and I never looked back. Protecting ecosystems, protecting rare areas in this old narrow section of Blue Ridge, I was in. I was the kid that went on all the walks and talks provided by the Nature Foundation and I asked millions of questions. The Nature Foundation is making sure that the pulse of this forest community is okay. And they do that through the observation of annual surveys or quarterly surveys, and they do that by having researchers come up here and learn about as much as we can. And then they roll that over and they give that back to the community and everybody here through programs like the Wildflower Symposium, lecture series, walks, talks, hikes, workshops. When I was the youth program coordinator here, I got to watch the excitement in me blossom in the next generation of outdoor stewards. We have 15 scientists from every single discipline who serve on a committee here. And they're attracted to Wintergreen because they can come here and they can do research. And the research piece, it's not just research because in order to get people to understand and protect ecosystems, you have to be able to translate research into education. The Nature Foundation is not only serving and protecting and giving science-based reasoning for managing the forests here, but with the educational piece, we're educating thousands of students a year. We've been property owners for over three and a half decades. I've watched my children grow and prosper uh, in this wonderful environment. The board has taken a look to our future and we see that there's gonna be more and more demands on our services and the, and the needs for this foundation to support the vision of the founders. We plan to raise $4 million over the next five years. Hence, we call it Endowment 2025. It's critical that we do this, uh, that we have in Diamond 2025 to make sure that what is here today is there for everybody tomorrow and into the future. So if you enjoy watching the sunrise come over the mountains or sunset go down at being in the last touch of light as it filters off in the sunset or turning over a rock and seeing a salamander or listening to the barred owls calling to each other at night, then you enjoy this place as much as I do and you want to make sure that other people get to experience and enjoy this just the way we have. Here we are over 50 years from when the dream started and Wintergreen is still intact. Wintergreen is still incredibly beautiful. The promise has been kept and what we need to do going forward is to maintain that promise because that's what makes this place special. Wintergreen is an incredible place for any number of reasons. And all of you hearing this become part of that legacy.